This video will show you how easy it is to look after your digestive and hormonal health with abdominal massage. Whether you're suffering from period pains, perimenopausal problems, fertility issues, or digestive issues like bloating or constipation, it can be a great way to manage your symptoms and connect with your body. There are just a few cases where it's not safe to use belly massage. A few days before, during, or immediately after your period, if you have an IUD or a coil of any kind, if you think you might be pregnant, or if you have an infection, or if you're taking painkillers, which might mask any pain. Just remember to be gentle when you use soft, slow strokes and make sure it feels good. With your knees bent up, start by putting your hands on your lower belly and taking some deep breaths, letting your out breath flow softly away and come into the present moment. Then with your favourite massage oil or cream, start to make slow circles in a clockwise direction all over your belly. It doesn't matter where you start, just move between your hip bones, up the side and across underneath bottom of your ribs and down the other side in slow gentle circles. This is the direction that your digestion flows through your colon so it can really help to be a good clear out. Keep your touch light and your hands soft on your belly. You'll find, probably find that you're starting to relax. If any judgments pop into your head, just notice them and let them go. Next, make gentle scooping circles in between your hip bones. This is low down on your belly, just above your pubic bone. Use your fingertips to make soft, gentle circles. Backwards and forwards. Between your hip bones. You're saying hello to your uterus and giving her some gentle attention. And this will really help the flow of blood, lymph and the nerve impulses and energy in your body. Just very gently make little circles with your fingers. And if you notice any worries or concerns coming into your mind, just let them go and focus back on your breath and your body. The next move is to place your fingers underneath your rib cage, right in the middle of your upper belly. And on an out breath, gently sweep down towards your belly button. You can repeat this twice more. Then move to the right side of the rib cage, and again on an out breath, sweep down from underneath the ribs down towards the belly button. A diagonal slide. Just use soft fingers and gentle pressure. Repeat the same three gentle strokes on the left hand side. 
This works on the diaphragm and the fascia to help you create more space for your organs. More ease in your belly. And slide down on the out breath. Now we're going to do the same thing on the lower belly. Feel just above the pubic bone. And then for an out breath, softly slide up towards your belly button. Just let everything go. Feel soft. And move to the right hand side and move from the top of your hip bone diagonally up towards your belly button. Again, an on out breath. Your, our uteruses often sit more to the front or the back or slightly askew, and these kinds of strokes and massage will really help to get your uterus resting in a good position so it's functioning really well. And finally, place your hands over your uterus and enjoy the new energy you've created. It's normal to feel a bit awkward at first and that you're not getting it right, but don't worry. It will quickly start to feel more natural and easy to give yourself a massage every day. Don't forget to drink lots of water and to notice what happens with your symptoms. Your uterus may have a clear out and you might have a heavier period than usual with clots. This is your uterus letting go, so don't be alarmed. There may also be an emotional release, so be gentle. Be kind to yourself. And if you find that you're emotional, just rest and know that all is well. Working with your body in this deep yet respectful way is deeply healing. If you have any concerns, do get in touch through my website. Dresses below. Enjoy your belly.